Greetings and welcome to a brand new game. We're playing Good Company today and I am Catherine of Sky and I am here with the wonderful Matthias who you might have met in another series. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling demure today? <laughs> As always. As always. As always. Oh, well, you better speak up because I hear that so <laughs> many people enjoy uh, the humor we have together. So you need to participate for that to happen. Um, <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I've heard. <laughs> anyway, we are playing this game. It has been in early access for quite some time, but we are playing it pre-release and it is the 1.0 version which, importantly, as you can probably tell from this intro, is multiplayer. And boy, is it fun. We've been practicing a bit in multiplayer and we're enjoying this quite a lot. So we're going to set up a multiplayer game for you to watch uh, starting today, obviously. And um, so I want to take you through the multiplayer settings that we have chosen here. This is basically a free play campaign in the game. And we're starting with Timbertown, mostly because it's an extra large map and has lots of buildings so we can just play to our heart's content, uh, basically making a mega base, mega factory, whatever we're doing here. Um, then we just did a custom preset just because we changed options here. And you can see what we have, competitor strength and aggressiveness, starting uh, assets, we changed to low assets with a loan. We found that moderate was like massive amounts of money and kind of like too much. Uh, low tech, which is not bare minimum, it's a little bit of tech, um, but progression, material costs and all of that, 100%, 1, 1x, all that kind of thing. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and of course you need to click the button, start as a multiplayer game. So um, Matthias is going to host, um, but I wanted to show you these options that we have right now. So I'm going to click my steamy thingy thingy and play a game. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Here we go, loading in. Okay. Hey. hey. Okay. You have blue hair? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It suits me. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> yeah. You think so? All right. Well, look, this is interesting. We've actually started on with a different building than we had in our test game. This is fascinating. Um... Did you buy this building or is this the one that came that we had? This is the one that came enabled. All right, excellent. So um, in multiplayer, we can both do different things at each time. We can uh, start different uh, production lines and assemblies and stuff. And so we're going to try to show you the different features of this game and why it might be interesting to you. Uh, basically, it's a factory game where you are creating products to respond to market interests and demand and how they have to have certain features. You can make discounts discounts to make sell more of them, um, do all kinds of different things. And of course, research and upgrade components in these products to make a better profit. So uh, the first thing we want to do is look at the market and see what we have access to. We can make either calculators or cassette players. So what do you fancy? Calculators. <laughs> The calculators. Okay. So, um, all right. Why don't you make a calculator or should I? Would you like me to make a calculator? Why don't you show how to design a product and okay. I'll set up the business development part that's kind of boring. Okay. So, okay. Business development part? Is it boring? Oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, so we're, I'm going to make a new, uh, new calculator. So we're going to click this. We have not. Uh, obviously researched any extra components yet so we're just going to do a basic thing uh calculators so we we have these expected features on the right hand side they want display fidelity 2.0 if we possibly can style we get extra points for style and uh 0.5 battery life is a minimum <sighs> Uh, well, I don't know if it's a minimum or if it's just requested, but we're going to look at plastic cases first. They give us noise pollution minus one, which is, I have never heard of a ca calculator that cares about noise pollution. <laughs> um, and I have but, a speaker and a beeper. That's true. Uh, that would be annoying. But anyway, the wooden case gives us actually style points. So we're going to choose this one, I think. Um, so create product. All right, and then we can choose the uh, shape of this calculator and the colors. Um, we'll make this one with, with the blue face because somebody is interested in blue today. <laughs> and uh, this this appeal uh, thingy, this does not affect 
any points in the thing. This is just for you to look at the icon and say, oh, okay, that's that one. It's, it's, it's a player thing. So modules, we need to find out. Display fidelity is going to be something that looks like a TV screen. Here we go, an LED array. That seems like a good idea. So we'll put one of those in or maybe more than one. Uh, let's rotate this. Wow, that's many LED rays. Um, but we are getting to that 2.0 number. And those uh, bonus, you get a 20 gold price bonus per, I think it's 0.1. So this is going to give us um, 200 gold, I think. Is that right? I don't know. But let's look at the battery life. That's important. We have the ability to give... This one has a 0.5 battery life and this one is 1.0. We're going to check this on our profit right now. So this one 376, so 362 and goes up to 5. Um, this one is 372 and it also goes up to 5. So we're going to use a cheaper one uh, because, yeah, why not? No, wait, 362 and 372. Okay, we can get 10 more gold for each. Why not? Um, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, how you kind of can design these things. We're going to finish this design and it's going to be called the dual Mark 9,000. Um, and as you see, uh, Matthias has already set up, started to set up some of the work tables here that we're going to need for making this product. Okay. So, um, so you set up one palette there. Is that the, that's the buy palette. All right. I'm going to set up the sell palette. That's the inbound right stuff okay. and things stuff and things i'm gonna put the outbound right here so we're gonna add a rule to um sell these calculators now so we're gonna put in the whole palette full of calculators because that's the way i like to do things um so the inbound stuff uh is so the gray components are items that are raw materials that you buy and then we want to add also new rules for stuff that are like um the what did we add to this? <laughs> I forgot what we added to this, but we needed a battery single cell, no battery stack, I believe. And then these are, these are components that we're going to make anything that's green or purple background are things that we actually are going to make for this calculator. So, um, we have these finishing tables, assembly tables that are going to make the final product. So the easiest way to do this is look what is here. We have, we need a wooden case. We need a battery stack and four led arrays. Yes four of them mm -hmm. <laughs> so we won't be needing any plastic then uh i don't know aren't there isn't there any in the leds no just electronic parts that's it okay yeah no okay. uh plastic for the battery stacks yeah so we need plastic uh for okay. those i'll add a rule for that as well okay so the other thing let's add the led arrays i'm going to put in two squares of led arrays and then we need the wooden cases it's really nice to have these all these components on a pallet to give a little extra room for our employees to unload things. So, all right. Um, I guess we can organize. Let's see. Or we need the wood as well. Let me add that. Oh, you have it already. Nice. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. I'll make, let's make, you want to do like a two X kind of start, uh, like two, two times the wood, two times the other junk as well. So I've got wood cake or maybe three you could do three. Why not? It's a big room. So what I'm doing here is I'm choosing the product and then clicking the quick hire button to have a person working there. Um, do you have any thoughts for what we want to do in these other tables? Or are you, I don't want to mess up your flow here. I haven't uh, just placed, placed the tables. I have no idea what we need. You designed, <laughs> you designed the calculator. <laughs> we need, okay. So we need one wooden case. I've set up the wooden cases already. One battery stack and four led arrays for each calculator. That's okay. a lot. So, but I think that's, that could be possible. We just set up a bunch of LED arrays in this other area, I think. Uh, okay. You want to set them up there? Cool. Perfect. Um, I will go ahead and get some more tables in here. Uh, and battery stacks. Yes. Did we get copper? No, they oh, don't no, have no plastic. That's plastic. That's plastic. <laughs> Looks like copper. It does look like copper. Very, very factorio there. I'm going to start hiring the people to work here. 
This is just a quick hire and these people come with no experience. So over time, they're going to generate research or XP and we haven't yet been able to level one up, but they take a lot of XP to get a level, but they do have massive bonuses once you do. Okay. So I have done, oh, you put battery stacks here too. Okay. I think we need, well, I think we need four. Let's see. These are 2.4 days for four. And this is one in, oh geez. Oh no. Okay, so 2.4 days, we need four. And these are one every one day. So how many do we need? So two per day, right? So we need two two of these for one of those. So we need more of these like that. Just more battery this. stacks. Yes. Oh no, I was talking about the LED arrays. Battery stacks are, yes, one per day, but we only need one every 2.4 days. So that's good. I think we just need probably less than that. Just we could have another. Unpost them. Yeah. Yep. Let's add employees here. We also need to hire uh, people to carry the stuff around the factory. So we click on this work zones business and <laughs> this is the elephant zone, apparently. <laughs> oh, you already hired people. It's Fantastic. Not... Yeah. I brought in two guys two of my best friends oh excellent <laughs> we'll call this the calculator uh, area and we're going to choose policies for this area which is going to be plus 10 percent crafting speed plus 10 percent crafting speed on modules these are components and then assembly speed so that's going to affect all of these people here and um it used to be that you could move your character around but you can't anymore not that we can find anyway so um but yeah, we'll, we'll get it sorted. And we're after they start working a bit, we're going to see where they are. Um, and, uh, if we need to add more machines or whatever, uh, so you can see people thinking about stuff like these people are like, yo, where are they, where are the wooden cases? We want to, we need those cases. You know what we forgot though? I forgot to add shelving. That's important because they can't really deliver stuff unless they have shelves. Uh, so I'm going to add one. Oh, this is too close. All right. I'm going to move that one table. I don't like it there. It's too close. There we go. That's much better. Um, get the shelf. It's really nice to put a shelf between two workstations, if possible. Oh, this is too tight. Ah, uh, nigh. Well, I'll move the whole row then, I think. Maybe, all right, let me just move these things out. Oh, I have no mess of this, sorry. Out. Just put that one there and these between these stations. Make sure not to block people's um, areas. Oh, whoops, dude. Oh, it moved now. It must've been just a lag thing. Okay. Now, are we getting, we need more chemicals. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good. We have all these competitors at the bottom. We tried to turn them off, all these silly messages, but yeah, not working. Um, we can we also look... The first calculator on the pallet. Yay! Whoa, there it is. Yeah, let's go. Um, we want to look at the phone things. No, no phone assignments yet. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to set up some research. Let's do the... Uh, can we set those up outside, maybe? Maybe we can be sneaky. No, no, not allowed. To take, be take a corner in the other, other end of the building. Hmm. Yep. They kind of fit together quite nicely as a, as a Tetris piece there. And um, let's see. Do we need shelves by those? I'm not even sure. But I'll put some there. Thanks. So I'm going to, well, what you can do to save on employees is use the next available idle employee, which is basically our characters. Um, so we can save a little bit of money on hiring us instead of random people that we have to pay. So uh, would you like to choose the next research and I'll pick the products that we're. Sure. I don't know what we need. So I don't know either. Let's see what else have we got here? Logic circuits, brightness center. Uh, let's get those battery stacks. So 
these items. A better case? A stylish? Yeah, let's go for case? the stylish wooden case. That sounds great. Sure. So what I'm picking here is we are producing a number of items. Um, and basically, we're going to deconstruct these. One of our characters is deconstructing these in order to earn research points, which are currency on the right-hand side. There are four different kinds. Um, right now, we have access to the to the diamond and half moon. So I've picked some that are probably, hopefully, from both categories. We don't actually have much that we can do right now, so we're just going to pick the ones that we are actually producing. And those those items are unrecoverable. Once they have been disassembled, they don't get uh, back to your stock. You basically just lose them and they go into research. And so, um, let's see, Matthias has chosen research. And what we are now researching is the stylish case, which I believe is between... My display is messed up, I think. It's supposed to be between the wooden case and the polished case. Um, but that only needs diamond research, so we're we're on a good track for that. Um, we're going to keep on earning research as we go. Okay, so we're here. We've done things. I explained everything about the whole game. <laughs> Sorry to be so chatty. Oh my god. It, it's actually <laughs> kind of complex with, with setting up uh, discounts mm. and trying to, to steal market share from the competition. Yes. And... Mm designing new stuff and it's it's uh, it's a very it's kind of deep it is it's a very deep game and it's really satisfying to play i mean i i have a very <laughs> i get bored very quickly unless the game is very interesting to play like i'll play like 10 minutes and be done and um this game's held my attention it's one of these that like we had a bit of a snafu with the developer which got resolved of course but I really was looking forward to playing in multiplayer because initially we didn't have the multiplayer access code, um, which will be available for you at, if you purchase it at uh, 1.0 or on the date. I forgot what the date is. I'm so bad at this. But um, they, um, I, it was one of these games that was like, yeah, I really want to get back to this because it's really fun. And uh, there's lots to it for sure. So um, this is the market screen and we can see the weekly demand. If, uh, if we can exceed that weekly demand, we can actually lower or we can, or wait, if, oh God, what are the words for this? We can, we can offer a discount if we want to sell more stuff. I don't think that impacts the weekly demand. It only uh, impacts our potential sales next week, but our, the appeal of our product is so high that we don't need to offer a discount at all. In fact, let's look at our production stats. What are we making? We are able to make 16 in a week. Um, and then we need to, let's look at the other stuff. I've noticed that you don't have to mouse over it. You can look at the, the something of something on the left. So we're making 85 LED arrays. I don't think, is that enough? Four times 16 is several. It's 32, uh, 64. So we're making too many LED arrays. Yeah, that's slight overproduction of, uh, you see the green number in the far right, mm -hmm. 21.3. That's. Uh, the overage we're making 21.3 ah, too many Ah, that's cool okay so we can actually make another calculator maker I think I think that's what that means because we have an overage of everything that we need so let's make another calculator maker there put a small shelf also shelves are so important like sometimes they will not do anything unless they have a shelf to deliver to and stuff so we want to make sure we have that going Okay, so now you can also, we have... You can also configure the shelves, what, what products to, to mm -hmm. uh, keep on the shelves, or you can just place it down and it will be assigned automatically. But you, you can go into detail and, and uh, decide exactly what components to have on what shelf to op optimize the workflow. It's really good. It's it's pretty. You can make it really efficient if you do that. Um, and also, you can set some shelves to like output only. Like, so if I take this hot this table and I select this output and point to this shelf, it will configure this shelf to only. Well, it should only be output products. Um, but usually, you do that before you start the machine because it for whatever reason it didn't do that just now. Um, but you can make them very specifically only take you know, particular products. Did we just get a new thingy? 
We did. Sophie's cookie tech. What have we got here? An assignment. An assignment. So single cell battery. We, I guess we can make them. Are they cheap? Do we know? Do yeah, but the single cell batteries are just uh, plastic and chemicals. Okay. You want to make some? Sure. Okay. Let's do that. We They need a bunch, don't they? They need 2440. Yeah. Holy fuzzy cats. All right. Well, I'll start placing that, the pallets that's down. Great. A lot of pellets. Uh huh. So where do we want to try to fit the tables for this? On the right side. It's fine. There's plenty of space. Boatloads of space. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah. It's good. See, they fit nicely there. Oh, I shouldn't have done okay. that. Because if you... You can actually put one down, set oh, the recipe. Oh, it's only chemicals, actually. Oh, wow. That's even cheaper. Where are these single cell batteries? There we go. Single cell batteries. Um, because if you put them down, you can just copy them, and it copies the recipe as well. It's very nice. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Good, good. We're both working here. All right. And then... Then they'll put them in these pallets. We might actually have to rent another... Oh, God. Why did I do that? That was dumb. Eh. You place down a lot of pallets. Yeah. Well, it's, they want like 2,500. Yeah, but I don't know what the stack size is. Oh, you're right. Uh, they want 2,400. Okay. So we've made eight. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We don't know what the stack we'll size see. is. I don't remember, actually. But we'll, we'll, we'll see what's going on here. Let me just uh, add yeah, a couple more tables. Yeah, need... uh, what do you need? I'm going to set up a customized shell. Nice. Um. So now I didn't have to re set the recipe. I can just hire a person. But I do need to set up some shelving. Oh, you're setting up the shelves here? Or? Just uh, setting up one. Okay. Nice. Just for chemicals. Nice. Let's see, can I copy uh, this? Does it copy the same fun stuff? Yeah. I don't know if it's copied or if it's just that's all we need. But do we need to order more chemicals? Maybe. I'm gonna order more. Uh, what did I do? I remember thinking about it. No, I didn't change it. So add another. I don't know why these guys are not moving these employees why are they not ch carrying the led arrays to this pallet there are two pallet stacks set up for them and they're not moving them i don't get that i think they're there supposed are. to they're trying to deliver to the small shelf i think we may need more um carrying people in the work zones so i'll i'll, I'll add two no let's have five total cool all right this is great They making stuff now. And you are not outputting. Why are you not outputting? Oh, because you're outputting to the wrong thing. <laughs> there you go. So these, um, basically all of the companies that are in competition with us, there are three other companies, they can all um, contribute to the number here. As you see, we are now... Um, contributing 29 versus 13, 9 and 13 by the other companies. So we're kind of leading the thing. And if you're wondering about the money, every time our uh, employees puts a box into the crate, into one of these pallets, we get 90 gold per item. And if we get the majority, we get another 17,000 gold and we get these lovely researchy things, which are great, you know, 110 half moons and 170 diamond research. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo, indeed. <laughs> How are we doing on these elephants? What an elephant courier pal? Why is it called that? I think it's called that because it was supposed to be the elephant zone. We'll call this calculator uh, output. There we go. And the other one, also elephant courier palette. We'll call this calculator input. But what we can do after 
we make all of these single cell batteries after the production is complete, we can um, we can reassign the tables later. We could fire people from the tables. We could move the tables to another uh, building. We can buy any of these buildings here are buyable, and we can we can do stuff in them. That's why we had this extra large map so that we can have much production space. And um, let's see. So now we have a little bit of money, not a lot. We could open up another warehouse here. Or not a warehouse, but a factory space if we want. Looks like we're waiting on battery stacks. So we're short. Well, I've changed over one table to, to battery stacks instead okay. of uh, thank you, thank you. LEDs. Okay, so we have overages. Um, wow. Ah, yeah, this is the single cell batteries, of course. So slight overages are okay in this game because you can't really have exact ratios in most cases because of the various bonuses and percentages and stuff that happens. It looks like we have overage of battery stacks by nine and cases by nine. The LEDs are at 0 0.1, minus 0 0.1. So I was, uh, so we can't fit any more calculators, I guess. Just okay. deal. Unless you want to add in another assembly table, we could. Mm. Nah. Nah. Okay. Nah, nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. It's fine. Good. It's okay to also have slight shortages of stuff because I find that having like more. Well, what we could do, there is another option to, uh, open to us. So if we look back at these products, at the overages, we have an overage of cases of 9.1. And then we have too many battery stacks. So what we can actually do is click on this palette where we're storing these things and sell the overage of them so that we keep our, our people working. Um, but what we're going to do is so we had overage of battery stacks and the cases, right? So we're going to sell, let's say 50% because mostly they're going to get delivered to the tables that need them. So we're going to sell half of whatever's all only on the palette. So let's do that. Sell that at 50%. Yeah, this could stand to have like a typing box. I would like to just click 50 or, you know, type in 50% instead of having to click the arrows. But overall, I find that the interface is really nice in this game. It seems to be very functional. I'm missing some, some formal customization. For especially those pop-up messages that are mm. quite annoying after a while. They are, yeah. When the competitors start to talk to you, hey, yeah. did you see my new market? And like you have to click it off every time. It's very annoying over time. So so what we're, Still... we're, we're probably aiming to do is as we are selling stuff, we have this market share thing and there's phases of how many units you've sold. So we need to to get to the next phase which basically raises our base price and other things we need to sell 1140 units and then we can research the next phase um but what we can also do is is get into a new phase of maybe we sell cassette players or maybe we sell different calculators uh as we are researching stuff like so we're um where are we on the oh research is 59 percent done why is that not showing up on the activities? Feels like it should. It was before. <laughs> it was before. But I don't know I what's can going see on it. with that. It's on your activities on the right hand side? Uh, no, but on the top. Yeah, it is on the top. For me, it showed also on the right hand side. Because you could see like the numbers oh. ticking down of like the stuff. But anyway, um... Uh, this is going to be a nice thing because then we can upgrade our calculator product uh, to use a different kind of case. Uh, or just Ooh, design we're... another one. I'm sorry? We're kicking our competition's butt in the uh, assignment. Ooh, nice. We've delivered uh, 194 batteries and their wow. closest competitor is 48. Wow. And you, it's nice that there's this like lovely rainbowy progress bar. You can really see the impact we have. We're the black bar there with the little Saturn -y moon mm -hmm. thingy. We're Saturn with a star peeking in front of it. Isn't that handy to have a sun in front of Saturn? Fantastic. 
<laughs> <laughs> it does look de decorative, though. <laughs> but I'm sure some people would be like, no, that is not proper, KOS. You're not allowed to have a star in front of Saturn. No. I mean... Of course not. Unless unless it's on the other side of the sun, but it would, would look slightly bigger, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and Saturn quite a bit smaller. <laughs> Though it could be a moon. Maybe it's a moon in front. I don't know. Star-shaped moon. A moon. Who yeah. can tell? Who can tell, indeed. So, would you like to make um, a cassette player? Do we want to uh, boost the calculator market? Or should we wait for the research to finish? All right, let's go into three speed so it goes faster. <laughs> Do we have... Let's check our cash flow. Mm. Uh, financial overview. Okay. We oh, are... we're doing good. Look at that left graph. That's tasty stuff. Man, good stuff. We're doing pretty good. Hmm? Pretty good. 17% um, margin last month. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We have... We do start out with a loan, uh, which is 150000 So we have that to pay back. And we do have an interest on that, as you see. Uh Let's see yeah. budgets. Oh, it shows how much each of us spends. That's funny. <laughs> That's uh, interesting. I, I, I guess. I think you win. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Are you saying you owe me uh, on the spreadsheet? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just add it to the spreadsheet. Add it to the spreadsheet. Excellent. Um, this is kind of cool. This seems like a kind of a multiplayer friendly option for playing with randoms. I guess you could do a player budget where you kind of limit so that nobody spends all of the money. Um, that's kind of interesting. I, did, I didn't know that existed until now. It's pretty neat. All right. Let me see. Should we oh. wait until the research is... How are... Oh, okay. We're 85% on we need, the, the case. Hmm? I think we need a new market to, to be able to make anything other than the calculators. No, no. We have the uh, cassette players, remember? Oh, yeah, we do. We do. Mm -hmm. So why don't you go ahead and, and design one at least? Okay, we will do. Should I wait for the case to finish so it's stylish? Oh, Let you me... want to have the fancy case? Yeah, <laughs> slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Cassette well, players do... Done. They do have style as a, as a feature, so we'll get more money for it. Okay. So yeah, let's do that. Perfect. We should probably pick out a building. Let's see. This one is... How about the... Um... How much is this? The one on the right, the the orange one, has a delivery area. The one twelve. The one yeah. on the left does not. No, it, but it it's has bigger. no delivery area. Wait, which one are you wanting, left or right? The red roof. Directly the red... east of us. Oh, oh, that I didn't even look at that one. Okay, yeah, that one doesn't. Um, we could get. I'm I'm thinking we want the the one north of that one does have a delivery area. Maybe we would go with that one. Because sure. I don't think we have enough space to add more pallets in our current calculator zone. So, no. okay, so that one is 70,000 to buy this building. And I guess we just buy it. <laughs> I just had a thought. Oh, for broke. Never mind. Okay, let's go. We bought it. Good, good. Um, maybe what we do in this one is we add several pallets to buy the red roofed building next because that's a nice big building, but it also has no delivery. So you can only get products if you have delivery areas in them. I'm going to go ahead and just fill it with four pallets um, for, you know, maybe, you know, anticipating going to this red roofed building as well. Just kind of reserve that area. Uh, you can see this striped uh, kind of diagonal striped uh, delivery area. It's actually it's a diagonal. Yeah, it's slightly. Anyway, um, you have to have that in order for trucks to be able to have these pallets and deliver the raw materials and also sell goods. But our money is really flowing in. We're already at 50000 again. Um, let's see. Did we get... Sure we you did. Can change that, that really quick. What, the money? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm good <laughs> at changing that. <laughs> anyway... We're going to create a brand new cassette player with the new case. So the stylish case is actually going to give us 1.5 style. That's kind of fabulous. Yeah, let's go. Um, and that gives us a price bonus of 10 per 10th, I think. So they want, amazingly, sound quality. They want two sound quality. 
That's like kind of a nice, I like this already. Let's see. Sound quality. We only have a beeper. Wow, that sounds absolutely beautiful. Uh, but it only, it only needs two of these. So that's uh, something in our favor. Um, we also need half battery life. So we could put in the single cell battery. So we're at 396 and 382. Okay, what about this one? We can't fit this one. Okay, no choices then. There we go. So 396, 382 and 368. Nope. Okay, so we're just going to go with this. Um, this is, I mean, it's a market appeal of five. It's a great design here. And um, we're going to get 382 profit per each. So we're going to finish this design. Um, it has two beepers and one single cell battery, just FYI. And this looks fabulous. I like it. Hyper Melody Omega. Oh, beautiful. All right. So I, I started the research for a better speaker, too. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. OK, let's see. Let's set up um, some assembly tables real quick. OK, we've got to give them walking space. Let's make three, maybe. And we're going to do Hyper Melody Omega. Let's go. And you can always pause this thing if you want to, to set things up. So let's see. The single cell battery is just chemicals. The beeper itself is coils and plastic. So let's add chemicals, add coils and plastic. Now the coils are made from metal and plastic. So we need metal as well. And we need the wood for the case. Let's get that stylish case and add the wood and add probably we need what is in that stylish case. I think it is a regular wooden case. OK, and metal. All right, that's fine. So we'll add also the regular wooden case because we want to store all of the intermediate products there. And this is going to be our output here. The Hyper Melody Omega. That sounds very fabulous. That sounds like a cool product name. It sounds crazy, but it's fine. <laughs> so stupid i don't know <laughs> all right let's go with the next table here i'm gonna make this a uh, stylish case one day how many can be made per day these take 1.3 days thank you for the very convenient ratios game we appreciate this mm -hmm. <sighs> okay i think we still need what three of these i guess okay and then we need the single cell batteries uh, right. And those are the chemicals. Very easy. Uh, this is one day to make one. So yeah, three of those as well. That works. Okay. And then the other thing was what? Uh, oh no, bad. Oh my God. I forgot to make the regular, these thingies. Okay. Everybody change your mind, do other things. Um, let's also jet get the zone so that there is some moving stuff around. Oh, I forgot to create the mini zone in the there's research There's no room. shelves. Yeah, I know there's no shelves. <laughs> you feel free to add anytime you want. <laughs> I don't mind. Um, oh yeah, we need to get people to work here. That's what I wanted to do. Three people so far. Um, I'm still setting up the uh, thingies, so that's what I'm about right now. Uh, this one is going to be uh, the batteries, right? Okay, so one, two, and three. We'll add more people to all these places. I kind of wish there was a way to like mass add people. That would be nice. Yeah, select several several tables at once and just mm -hmm. yeah, click exactly. Alt, alt till or yeah, yeah. That would be that would be convenient. Okay, so we have the battery. I need the beeper now. Let's do the beepery stuff. Oops, wrong, wrong button. Uh. There we go. And this needs coils and plastic. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, why? 
No. <laughs> no, I don't want that there. Can I move him? <laughs> Trying to make space efficient thingies. Help. Feel free to <laughs> play some shelves. <laughs> <shit's ass. laughs> All right. But I'll no way, I don't want them. <laughs> my, I'll make my batteries over here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Ba uh, beeper, beeper, beeper. Where did it go now? Oh, hello? Oh, there it is. Okay, so coils. I don't know if I've ever actually made coils in this game. Those are made with metal and plastic. And you get five every 0.91 days, and this thing needs two. So I'm guessing we might need one or two of these machines. It's hard to tell, actually. Let's see what we got with our production overview here. So what we can do here is we're going to look in a specific zone called the, <laughs> the Puffin Zone, apparently. <laughs> All right. And we have an overage of stuff. The coils just appeared, so we need more uh, coils. So let's just make another table for this. There we go. Very good. Okay. We have 18 on sell orders. Now we should be making some money soon. Let's check the thingy again here, Puffin Zone. All right, so now we have a shortage of beeper thingies. Let's see, can I move that there? All right, so beepers, that's surprising. Did I only, oh, no, I have three tables. I don't quite understand why. I don't get this. Oh, because it needs two. Of course, now I get it. Yeah, all right, all right. So now we're down there and shelves. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> we obviously already have different build styles. I didn't realize that we were kind of doing different stuff like that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Are you gonna change thingy? Pick, choose. All right, I'm gonna rename this zone as well. Where, oh, there it is. Uh, we're gonna call this. What are we making here again? Uh, cassette players. Okay. Sure. Okay, so we're still at. Do I need to refresh this somehow? Yeah. Okay, now we're at. All right, we are there. We're still at minus. Oh, it would help if I had an employee there. Hmm. There we go. Now we're at minus three. Is that enough to add another table, you reckon? Minus three what? Minus three units per week. Um, depends on, on what resource you're lacking. Hmm. Well, it's um, it's well, it's it's to go into the final product. If you look at the production for the uh, uh, cassette player zone, we're missing minus two point or missing two point eight beepers for the final product per week. And do you have an overproduction of coils? Yes, significant. Yeah. Then okay. just place another table making beepers. All right. Yeah, we can always sell. It'll be fine. Them. It will be fine. Yes. <laughs> because it looks no, it looks like you have an underproduction of coils. Why? No, coils is oh now it's now it's at two. Before it was at seventeen. Over. Yeah, now it's 1.7. Now we have a slight overproduction of beepers. I guess I'll just set it up to sell these things. These other bits and pieces that we have. Um, so let's see. Batteries. Just sell a little bit of these things that we're making. Oh, I didn't even add them. Good lord. Might as well make money any way we can, really. Okay, and then the singles of batteries. Hang on. This doesn't make sense. Hmm? 
it says you're making just about exactly as many coils as you need. Mm -hmm. But why is everyone standing around waiting for coils? There That's are a hundred good... coils on um, this shelf. Yeah, there are a hundred coils. Maybe we need another uh, logistics person. Oh, it wasn't declared as a sink. Huh? Sorry? Um, if you click the shelf, oh, yeah. now they're carried off all the... It was full of coils. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I saw that. But, yeah. But the coil wasn't set as a source. So uh... the logistic people didn't pick them up. How did you? How do you do that? On the uh, icons, right ne next to the uh, yeah, to the arrows. Yeah. Declare sink or declare source. Okay, so is it is it the left hand icons or is it the right hand icons? Right hand icons. Okay, all I see is logistics only. The shopping cart is grayed out, and it just says sell order. There's no sink or source. Where I see it. Clicking on the, you're clicking on a pallet, right? Yes. Yeah, click on the shell. Oh! Okay. Ah, interesting. Okay, I haven't really messed with that at all. That's interesting. I've, Why are they doing it I've, that way? I just I've put got the... a deadlock. Oh, because... Okay, the assignment is completed. Nice! Oh, oh look at that. All They're all gone now. Um, Simon history. Should we keep on selling these single cell batteries or just fire everybody and choose something no. else? No. We'll find something else for them to make. Okay. Uh, we made 1250. Wow. And the nearest competitor was at 443. That's fantastic. Jeez. So we got okay, a lot of is... bonus stuff. Is there a new assignment? Oh, there is! Cassette player of Battery Life 1. Oh no! We can't yeah. do it! Because... Ah, uh, darn it. Because someone designed uh, yeah. a very small battery. <laughs> yes, well, the thing was, is it w the other battery wouldn't fit in that case. That was the problem. Yeah. So, yeah. let's see. The um, But we can make... We have small register banks. That's They want 1,500 of those. What do you think? What do those uh, need? Just sell off all the uh, single cell batteries we have here. Okay, so the small register bank is electronic parts and metal. That seems okay. Needs eight electronic parts. There we go. Now we got a better, better speaker too. Hey. Oh, those are just very simple. That's right. Okay. Let's just make these then. We'll do these uh, register banks. We'll place a couple of pallets out here. We'll just have this be our like... Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> stop doing that! What are you doing? Right? <laughs> stop, stop spamming! <laughs> I'm just making this uh, this thing that we're involved in, this uh, the thing that we just recently became involved in. <laughs> there you go. The stack size is is pretty big. Oh, is it? Okay, that's nice. Did you know? Did you so notice what the stack size on those uh, the batteries was? Because I didn't even notice. I think it was... was how many? Yeah, it was a lot. Ah, oh, okay. It was a lot. So we don't need remember. all that many. <laughs> See, you have removed so several. So what, what's, what's the issue here? Lots of electronic parts. I don't know what's going metals. on here. Maybe it's too much stuff on the shelf? Huh. I don't know. Go away, oh, they are people. Maybe, yeah, maybe we need to add those thingies to the thingy. That's very specific, I understand. Um, yeah, that helps. No, it still is not doing anything here. Oh, wait, that one's fine now. Okay, sure. Here, let's set this output over there. Oh, that's. What are you doing? Are you doing something there? Because it's fixing it. Whatever you're Me? doing. Yeah. I'm. I'm setting the outputs. Okay. Cool. Cool. 
Yeah, I was trying to do that as well, and it's. Uh, I think I did one, but he... yeah, whatever you did fixed the... the rest, which is nice. Still carrying around the batteries. Hmm. Do we need to have are. a battery sink here? I think that's what we do. Let's just put in. Oh, you already did one. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Good. 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 Oh, you know what they need? They need a shelf. Let me just put a regular shelf here. Six slots, six slots. Let's just put a small shelf here, and they can put those batteries on the shelf. There we go. In here. Put them all here, folks. Put them all there. Hello? Hello? Can I... No. Hello? Girl, go there. Mm-mm. Why are they not... Do we need... How are you not placing... There is a there is a way to set those these icons to be let's see the sink or source maybe we source them and shove them in the sail thingy no they can be both ah there we go we got one moving. Maybe. No. No, they're not. See, this is perplexing to me. Why are they not moving these things? I don't get it. Hmm. Oh. No, that was the wrong thing. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Why are they all standing around? <laughs> this looks like a you problem. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm working on it. No. Working on it. <laughs> it's your uh, factory. <laughs> what are they doing? They don't do like they don't look like they're doing much. Oh dear. Okay, let me choose some research. Um, oh, I think see. they got confused because they they were assigned to a table making batteries, mm. and then they were carrying a battery somewhere while you changed the recipe. Right. Right. Yeah, it was my and bad. And that sort of got them. Got them Locked. worked. I Dang it. We might have to just fire them, because you can't take it from their inventory either. Um, okay, so I'm going to look at the market thing. We actually have a new... We can progress the phase of the calculators. I think, so I think I'm going to do that. We get a base price plus 90. So that's good. So there we go. Boom. And of, of course, our, our thing is now market appeal 2, and potential sales is 17. Ay, that's not good. Let me just see how much we're making for the cassette players 17 is the number so we can make 18 per week so we give a small discount that's fine oh that's way too much there we go one percent discount gives us 18 sold next week <laughs> we're making that money yeah we're making 18 nice perfect Okay, let's look at the. Uh, I'm gonna look at the research now and see. All right, I've do. I've fired everyone carrying a box of batteries. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh no, let's get the polished case. Oh no, wait. Do we have any half moons? No, we don't have enough half moons. Um, any suggestions on what to get next? Maybe an enhanced it's your time battery to choose. cell. Okay, That's 1.0 battery life. This is 1.5 battery life. Okay, that seems good. Let's get the double battery stack. That seems good. And then after that, what do we want here? Oh, there's more things. Oh. Um, proximity sensors. Wow. Uh, oh, we could look at... Um, LED matrix that has a display fidelity of one instead of half. Or we could get skip over that and get the seven segment display. No, that's too many of the half moons. Uh, stepper motor, that seems like a good idea to queue. Actuators, mobility, speed. Hmm. And then, of course, drawback reduction. That's cool. Modules. Hmm. I don't really 
really sure what the modules are for. The very, like on the no research one. screen, yeah. the very first thing, the campaign with the star on it. Do we need that? Oh, here it is. Add plus two safety rating to products. But some of them don't seem to have a thing that they add to anything. Hmm. But it might be worth doing. Let's the safety fuse one, for example. Maybe they're just a campaign thingy that you don't really need. Okay. Well, I set up the next couple of researches. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, wow. The calculator that we have? Oh, this is phase two. That's right. Okay. Calculator is still in phase one for whatever reason. I guess we're not making as many per week or something. Let's see. Business development. We have uh, some points. What would you like to unlock? We can unlock the three. Oh, no. They're expensive. Look at how. Why are they 70 rocket points instead of 50? It's weird. All right, well, we can get two. Benefit. Do you want to... Which which tables would you like to unlock first? I have absolutely no idea. I think it depends somewhat on, on what we're going to make next. Um, I feel like we're making a lot of electronic components as well as the handcraft components, though chemistry is always good. They are in, they do the LED arrays and stuff, as well as the batteries. So maybe chemistry mm. and and let's get the yep. electronics. So what I'm unlocking now is these are basically tables that are more specialized. So the tinker tables are the do everything tables, but they don't get any speed boosts at all. So if I upgrade this one, it's gonna cost me uh, 2,500 gold per each table that I upgrade. But instead of 0.78 days, it's only going to cost me 0.39 days to create whatever I'm making. So I don't know if I, we want to do those. I guess that's for the uh, the assignment thing, right? Do we care about those tables? Maybe not. But the other tables I think Maybe we definitely not. should upgrade. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Get. Some of them are grayed out because we don't have the appropriate... These are the handcrafting ones, but this one is workable. So this is basically cutting stuff in half, which means that we can either um, delete half the tables or we can um, hire more people for assembly tables because we're making more products now. All right, so money is being spent <laughs> over here. <laughs> but once you upgrade yeah. them... Sorry? I, I noticed some cash disappearing there. <laughs> so, oh, we got a new assignment, by the way. We should check on that. Um, anyway, once you upgrade this, your amount of products that you can craft goes down. So you need to make sure that you want to upgrade these things, right? Because they are specialized. Um, all right, so now let me check on the stats and you can see what our thing has ended up with which is now an overage, massive overages of beepers, overages of single cell batteries. We can definitely put in another assembly table for sure. Let's go ahead and add an employee there and a shelf right next to that. But we might have to go into another building to add more. Can I actually add more stuff? I can actually. Okay, so let me see what else we need here, and um, maybe we increase our cassette player output. So, oh, we need the cases, I think, is what we definitely need more of, because we couldn't upgrade those tables. I'd like to see a function checking the inventory a lot easier. Mm, yeah. hire people here what's our market appeal on the calculator you know it will look uh oh it's five, five. it's very nice Still yeah. five. we okay. haven't upgraded then the phase can... yet so 
Let's, let's commit to a new goal. Hmm. Ah, yes, I forgot about the goals. Let's look at those. Produce 240 calculators that have a market appeal of at least four. Excellent. Is that? Oh, there we go. Okay, fantastic. Let's see, annualized modules of tier three. No. Commit. Uh, craft 250 chemical type component batches. We can easily do that. We should have done that earlier, I think. Let's see, make a profit of 100,000 by selling modules and products. I think that's going to be pretty easy. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So these things, they do reset after 90 days. So if we don't actually do the thing um, by 90 days, they just reset. And then we can uh, try again when we have increased production. Try something else. Yes. Okay, so did you upgrade your tables? No. Go for it. No. Go ahead. Add stuffs. Add things. Add all the good stuff and all of the good things. I'm going to move some of these but pallets over here. Sorry? Does In case you need more tables. Okay. Okay, so what do we got now going? I seem to remember in the test game there were some recipes that became unavailable when you upgraded. Yes. Table. Yes, definitely. So it's a good idea to check before. Yes. Well, if it, basically what happens is if you click on a table and it shows the upgrade button, it will keep producing that item. So if you upgrade okay. the battery stack thing, it will, it'll, yeah, it's, it's doing it in a smart way. I think it's nice. Okay. So now I need to balance this better because I might actually delete some employees here and reuse the tables elsewhere. Let's see, we are way, way making way too many beepers. Okay. We got the better speaker now as well, if you want to nice. redesign the, yeah. Is it possible with a better to battery, perhaps? the thing? Can no, I you have to this? make a new, you can ah. copy, make a copy and then edit the copy. Oh, that's handy. Okay, cool. Let's try that. Okay, duplicate. Oh, there it is. Okay, edit. Um, better battery. Okay, so let's get the, rid of this one. Okay. Oh, right, speaker. Uh -huh. hmm. Oh, yeah, that'll give us a better battery as well. Okay, let's see. Could probably... Oh, it's already better. Look at this. That's nice. Uh, okay, battery stack. Nice. 406 or 396. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do the battery stack instead. And we need... Oh, we need another one of these speakery thingies. Yeah, this is so much better than the other one. Wow. Oh, this is fantastic. 538 gold profit. Finish. Okay. Hyper Melody Omega 1 finish design. <laughs> Wait, can we? Oh, yes. This is it, the next one. Right. Change, change the name, perhaps? No, let's just archive the other one. Yep. There we go. And now they don't know what to make. Sad times. <laughs> Okay, we're going to change them all over to the new thingy thingy. This assignment is almost done. Okay, cases we don't need to change, but now we need to change the batteries to the battery stacks. Oh dear, what are we going to do with all these selling? We're going to have to sell all these, I think. Let's see, sell the beepers, all of them. Sell the old batteries all of them okay and then we're going to change these to other things speakers okay now batteries we need the battery stacks there we go Plastic and chemicals. No, not that one. Oh god, I hope I don't have to fire all these people. That's like the worst. OK. 
Okay. Our assignment is almost completed, so we'll soon have a lot of people without jobs. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Sad times. Um, I might need some of that floor space, actually. Let's see. They need coils, and they need... There's, oh, sorry. There's a new one for single-cell batteries again. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Do you think those are profitable? Sure. You reckon they're profitable? I don't even know. Um, I mean, the resource points alone. Yeah, that's true. 220 diamond... Uh, oh, 100 moon shape. That's what we're really short on is the moon stuff. Uh, hmm... Uh, this chart here. Oh no! Oh. Hmm? The upgraded benches can't make the single cell batteries. Oh, they can't. You. That's no. surprising. Even these chemical ones. I don't have any chemical ones. Ah, that's the problem, probably. Hmm. What okay, we'll make. It'll make a few. Okay, I need to... I need to borrow some of your workspace, I think, because I need some items. Oh, no. dear. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay! Do you know what you're saying? You're saying you want me to go over budget and buy the building next door. Uh, let's see, what do I... I'm going to check if there's excess tables that I have. Holy fuzzy cats. Yeah, there's way too many of those. We have way too many... Bl uh, those green boards over, I think, in your zone. Zone, um, let's see. Uh, okay, batteries. We can change those over to something else. We have too many. Oh, okay, let's change one battery maker to screws. Screws need rods. I don't know where to get the rods. Eh. Help. What do we have now? Let's get, I'll uh, get rods. Oh, I'll just do screws and rods over here. Oh no, it's a, it has to be at a regular tinker table. No! Oh no. Alright, here. I'm going to give you the gift of a fancy table. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you a fancy table. And you can do whatever with it, because I need the space. <laughs> and I have to go back to a uh, a regular tinker table. Move this one. Uh, mm. Come on, thingy. Fit. Just sit there for a minute. There we go. So, is this making our people happy? We're probably really low on screws and rods. Mm. There, the screws are not showing up. Oh no. <laughs> Where are they? Are we still making money on the calculators? Should be. Yeah, we are. Nice. Can you hear that? Uh, are you okay over there? <laughs> that was Emma. <laughs> Emma sneezing like crazy. <laughs> I don't know what the heck she did to herself over there. What you doing, little fuzz? What you doing, tiny girl? You're sitting on the window and just started sneezing like, <laughs> like crazy. Oh my god, we're minus 340 screws. No. Oh, nigh. Oh, wait. Why are these people we're losing money? We're losing money. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I kind of screwed up the, the cassette. Can I borrow one of your areas for screws, please? <laughs> I really need sure. the screws. I need screws. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Let me see. Can I upgrade the table for the screws? No? Yes? No, not yet. Nine, 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 nine. I'm gonna do a drastic measure and pause the game because I'm so short. Um, let's see. 
I'm gonna <laughs> Oops, <stop. laughs> Nobody's looking, nobody saw anything, it's fine. It's really fine. <laughs> yes, yes, it's really fine. <laughs> Okay, that's fine as well. Oh god. Oh, I need... Okay, there we go. This is absolutely perfect. So we have rods here, and employees here. Screws there, employees there. Okay, employees, rods, and employee screws. Yes, okay, and we need a shelf. Uh, we have to get this the uh, stuff over to your building i know i'm gonna hire somebody <laughs> right now let's see if i can borrow part of a pallet here let's add the screws where did they go i placed a new pallet with chemicals oh yes i see yeah Chemical i'm gonna borrow quality. some of that if yeah. that's okay you can use that. um yeah. so let's see i'm gonna take okay we haven't done this yet in the game so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna let's see is can we see what's there oh yeah if we can nice create our new route so we're going to take items. We're going to get the screws from here. No, that's not the right thing, apparently. Root. Okay, add courier pallet. I forgot that part, apparently. Click this and then add another pallet, which is going to be this one. And we're going to um, pick up at calculators and drop off at the Puffin Courier <laughs> Pallet 3. Such a lovely name. And then person is going to do this. Okay, I think we can go now. Let's go. So they should pick up the screws from this pallet once we actually get some made. Um, and then they're going to... Well, actually, we should probably order some metal here. So it's shorter transport for people. Because that's what they're waiting for right now. But um, let's see. Market overview. Yeah, we kind of stopped making this quite suddenly, <laughs> didn't we? Oh, dear. Yes. Um, come on, folks. Start making your thingies. Okay, rods are being made. Hooray. This is good. This is good. I think we should, as soon as possible, get the hand-making bench so we can make the rods and screws much faster. Is that something we need to research? It's uh, cost those rocket points. We have 40 now. Oh my god, you know what? We've kind of gone a little bit over on the first episode here. <laughs> we're, we're exactly at 1 hour, 12 minutes, and 41 seconds. So, um... Sounds I, perfect. I think, I think we should pause the game and say thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, thank, what, no, that's not the right words. <laughs> the words. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for joining us. Take care of yourselves and each other. And we'll see you next time. Bye.